Hello, my fellow Xbox members and Pets, welcome back to Tommy's page. He's a co founder and creator director at Gamepires, and his Twitter link will be down below. So, I know it's been a long time, and I know we've already gone through uh, an update since I've been gone. I'm not gonna go over the update. I think they added like bikes and um, like a bow skin and something like that. But I'm actually more uh, focused on these Twitter Twitter leaks here because uh, they're, they're a lot cooler than, than what the update is. Um, also, I wasn't playing during the update and I haven't played the update as of yet either. Um, so, you know, anyways, so let's go over the first one we got here. So this is camo for uh, bases. Uh, I think it's kind of cool. I think it doesn't really need to be there. Um, I feel like the bases are kind of blended in as they are, especially if you're in the woods. Um, if they're out like this, it just kind of looks interesting. Um, but you know, it would be kind of cool if you could put flags on there and stuff like that. Like if you put flags right on top of the base elements. So this could lead into that, which I think would be pretty cool. Um, and it'd be a very, very great idea. So, you know what, let's just go for it. You know, camouflage walls, why not? Cause maybe it'll lead into uh, customizable flags for those walls. We also have this right here with this traders outpost. Um, also a work in progress, of course. It's a little broken down building. You see the guy up there, up in the figure up there. Uh, everything's kind of broken down. It looks like they kind of used the um, terrain itself to actually trade. It, 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 people took it over and then used the terrain and then built on the terrain to do what they do to build like a little town here. Um, but yeah, it looks looks really cool, really, really cool. So there is more stuff to that as well. But first, let's go over this helmet. This helmet is really cool. Um, this is probably going to be one of those heavy set helmets along with the heavy vest. Uh, this is also going to be a part of it as well, which is pretty, pretty darn cool. For sure, this helmet, this little visor in the front may flip up or down, but we'll see how that goes. Um, and it'd be cool if you can modify it with paint and stuff. That'd be pretty sweet. We also have this. Um, they're talking about... Um, their faces for the future NPCs, uh, and they're trying to integrate uh, many humans into the character creation system. So basically what this allows you to do is create, like if you ever play Fallout and stuff like that, yeah, that's that's basically what it allows you to do. It allows you to basically create your character specifically the way you want, eyebrows, face, eyes, you know, the width of the nose to the, you know, forehead, blah, 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 all that cool stuff. But the problem is that it takes a lot, like a lot for the, um, for the game to kind of like read when you go into the game so it can cause lag and other stuff for multiplayer games for single player games it, it's, it's it works pretty well but um but i guess we're gonna find out how that goes um it'd be really 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 cool to see stuff like that you look at even the hairstyle is pretty nice um let's go ahead and move on from that though and let's talk about the air crop duster sorry i don't know why i called it an air crop duster it's an aeroplane um and it's a crop duster um this is the, the I showed a leak earlier about this about them getting in the animation of them getting in and getting out this also is also a work in progress as well but it looks like it's looking pretty darn well um flying air <laughs> crop dusters across the map is going to be a very interesting thing having a base from one corner of the map to the other it's going to be very doable now very easy to get around in we also have the concepts for the outpost prison so inside the outpost is going to be a prison and as you can see here there is many concepts right here. Um, one of them doesn't have walls. Very interesting. The other ones do. Uh, I think the walls will be very, 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 very um, needed just for the for the prison concepts. I feel like one without walls would be really weird. But that's also why most of these do have walls around them. So this is, I think this is... Um, Uh, this is gonna be with the 0 0.7. Um, it says right here the outpost prison concept here You'll be spending time if you misbehave also here is where most of the guards will be 0 0.7 will not start with functional prisons though. Okay, so never mind. So So it says we'll start with traders and other than other types of NPCs will follow so okay So we're not gonna have functional prisons when the outposts come out at 0 0.7 um, so let me retract what I said and it looks like they're going to start with traders first, but the uh, the prison is going to be there, though. We're going to be able to see it, probably walk into it and, and search around and see how it all goes. Um, that's pretty cool, though. I really do. I really do like this kind of stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to the economy system, which is actually coming up pretty darn soon. Um, and it says they might they might alter it till 0 0.7 as well. But here are the prices for vehicles. 
um, and boats, as you can see here. Everything is basically in the thousands, um, except for maybe uh, improvised wheelbarrow, which sell price is, is pretty pretty low, but the buy price is uh, pretty pretty high. Um, but yeah, everything's basically in sell the, the, the thousands unless you're selling. Uh, also, it has the item codes right here. Blah 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 blah. So. You, it also has modifiers as well, so base price modifiers. It says right here on the right side, and also has sell price modifiers. I wonder if people can actually control how this actually works for private servers. Oh, actually, yes, it's right here. We'll also try to make everything open for private server owners to edit the prices. Ooh, sorry, I got pickups as they wish. So yeah, that just answered my question right there. Um, this is going to be very interesting because actually having an economy in the game is going to be freaking awesome. Uh, an economy allows you to do so much instead of just running around and hoarding loot now you have a place to sell the loot for cash um and then they also talk about traders having banks so you can put the cash in banks and blah blah blah, blah. but yeah this is this this is pretty cool you you got you guys are gonna love it and i'll talk more about it when more of it comes out um also we have the what what it's gonna look like when you go buy it so this is a little warehouse right here, or I guess, or a truck house, I guess you'd call it. I'm guessing they spawn within the area and then you pull it out and you drive it away, um, or you pull it in and you sell it and then it sells. Um, that's my guess. So let's go ahead and move on to the next picture right here. And it looks like a junkyard. So and this is what's gonna be within the trading outpost. And actually it looks like the building materials uh, that you can build with in game are basically what they use for the outpost as you can see here along the wall um you got a little, little tower right here and then you see the freaking brick wall that goes all the way around uh, so that's pretty pretty darn cool um other than that that's actually all i have for you guys today if you guys want to know where i've been i've just been like chilling and drawing and playing like no man's sky and stuff like that um i've been trying to learn how to draw and stuff uh which to me is like very very important little skill that i want to do and be able to do I've been doing that a lot of that and uh, hopefully maybe one day I might even like uh, do some concepts for this game. I think that'd be really cool. Uh, I sent it to the devs and maybe some ideas of what I think should be in the game characters and creations and creatures and stuff like that. Um, or even for my YouTube channel, I can even, you know, draw stuff for my own YouTube channel if I can actually uh, get skilled at actual drawing um, and coloring and all that stuff. But I'm not I'm not even anywhere close to that right now. So it is what it is. But anyways, I really do hope you guys do enjoy your day and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I am out.